Shall we gather here and start our weekly Mestra Rakyat? Okay, officially this is uh, Mestra Rakyat. Huh? It's a goodwill gathering for people. All right. Uh, okay. As usual, I will have to do my duty, although I actually left it somewhere in the car, I think. The Twelve Commandments, all right? Uh, but don't laugh, huh? it's serious. <laughs> okay, can I have your attention please? As you know, there are Twelve Commandments, amongst which no lighting of candles in support of the ISA. So I hope you guys are lighting candles for some other reason. Huh? <laughs> All right. Um, you're, you're not allowed to wear T-shirts. You're not allowed to wear T-shirts that signify support for the ISA. Now, I don't know who this RPK guy is. You're all wearing shirts that says I'm with RPK. I, I hope there's nothing to do with ISA again, huh? Okay. And you're not supposed to show any sympathy for the anti-ISA movement. No banners. Uh, no weapons. Okay, so don't bring out your guns or water pistols. <laughs> All right, now, I, this is not a ritual. I'm saying that because those are conditions given by the police. Uh, because the police believe that we need a permit for this gathering. I'm sure many lawyers disagree, but never mind. We want to follow the law as far as possible. So the police permit states that, so I'm informing you that. All right, and just for the record, uh, saya ingin merakamkan terima kasih kepada pihak polis untuk kerjasama mereka dalam uh, kami menganjurkan perhimpunan ini. Okay, and I give my word to the police that this gathering will always be peaceful and law abiding. So help me, all of you. Thank you. Okay, as I came in, a few, a few of my friends just said, oh, you dress very smartly tonight. So I, I just, well, I'm sure you all know, right, since Obama got onto the scene, every young man that thinks he can be president must wear a white rolled up shirt right, like this and dark pants. Even older men can do that, okay? All right, let's, let's get on with things. Uh, before we start, I would like to propose that we observe a moment's silence for the victims of the landslides which we have witnessed at least three in the past week or so uh, because it's, it's tragedy for us, you know, we're not used to this perhaps and these sort of things also reflects poor governance and poor enforcement of laws uh, and it reinforces what the Menteri Basar has been saying from day one that He's going to be very strict about hill slope development and building on hills unless the developers and the authorities know what they're doing. Okay, and I was told this afternoon that work to recover and to rescue was suspended today because there were strong ground movements and it's not safe to carry on uh, the work. So I'm not sure when they can restart the work. So let's pray in our own ways and observe a moment's silence for those who are so badly affected by this and and it's not just those who are dead and injured uh, there are something like three to five thousand people that have to be evacuated from their homes and you just imagine the difficulty they go through so perhaps all of us should also reflect on how we can assist in some way whether through NGOs or through civil society bodies okay just a moment silence all right starting now Before I pass the mic to Harris, I'd just like to highlight the fact that over the past week or so, there has been 
two important persons that seem to reinforce the fact that the use of the ISA has not been proper. Uh, the Deputy Prime Minister, when commenting on the Mumbai uh, terrorist action, said something like, oh, in Malaysia we don't have terrorist activity because we have the ISA. You know, we use the ISA against terrorists, that's why we don't have that problem here. And similarly, uh, Dr. Sri Syed Hamid Alba also expressed the same sentiments, that the reason we are a peaceful society and there's no terrorism here is because we have the ISA. Uh, of course, I can name you any number of countries that are peaceful, democratic, liberal, and law-abiding without the ISA. You know, countries like Switzerland, for example, or even Japan. But never mind that. So, they are admitting, in fact, that the ISA is meant for terrorism, you know, uh, anti-security activities, rebellion, like the communist rebellion. And, and this reinforces what Dato Zaid Ibrahim has been saying all along, that the use of the ISA is, is illegal and improper. All right, without further ado, I call upon Harris to address you. Thank you.